Now I'm going to walk you through how we do our virtual interior and exterior estimates. What you want to do is set yourself up a guide. It's going to help you with dealing with the customer, questions that you have. Uh, and go ahead and lays, lays those things out so that way if you forget something or you don't think about something as you're going over it with the customer, you can just refer to your sheet. It's going to have all the basic things as far as prep, wash, surfaces that you're dealing with and how you, how you do it. So take a look here. This is a brief layout of how we do ours. Here's our virtual interior quote guide. Uh, as you can see, if you're dealing with the foyer, living room, dining room, kitchen, you know, if the customer tells you something, you can just say they want their living room painted. You check off the living room. You let them give you the dimensions of the room. Say you're dealing with uh, eight foot ceilings and you have a 10 by 10 room. So you're looking at hundred square feet on your ceiling. Little things like that, just making notes as you're going through with your customer will help make things a little bit easier. So you can keep doing what you're doing, listen to them, paying attention to anything that they're showing you on the video and just make speed up this process and make it easier for you guys. So there's our interior layout, just a brief layout of how we do things. You can do it differently if you want, but if that helps you out, you're welcome to try ours. Here's the virtual exterior quote guide, things we use. So if you're gonna be dealing with vinyl siding, wood siding, aluminum siding, brick, stone, different surfaces, we basically have everything covered. If you wanna do your foundation, window frames, cornice, corbels, columns, etc. So if you're doing vinyl siding, if you look at it, you obviously you can figure the dimensions on that. If you've already had that figured up, just using basic numbers here so you know, so you have 10 by 10 vinyl siding, which says you got 100 square feet, so you can tell if the surface needs to be washed, if it needs to be prepped, and if there's any particular notes as far as your prep or how you're gonna do that, you can lay that in there. If it needs to be primed, you can check all these things off as you're going along, make it easier for yourself. Okay, now we're gonna walk you guys through how we do Google Duo, how we work that app, how we use that with our virtual estimates, interior and exterior. Uh, reason we use Google Duo is it's compatible with Android and iPhone. So, you don't have any problem with customers there. Everybody typically has an Android or iPhone, so you don't have to worry about that, trying to FaceTime somebody and it not working. So we use Google Duo. It can be utilized for either phone, either carrier. What I'm gonna do now here is I'm gonna open up Google Duo, show you how we call a customer, just simple things that you wanna think of and go through when you're working with your customer. We're gonna just call our secretary downstairs, Jenny. She's gonna take care of our office, show, show us what needs done and show us any problem areas and walk us through that. So I'm going to give Jenny a call real quick. Let's get her on the line. And she'll, she's going to walk us through the office down here, show us what we need to do and what she wants to Hey, Jenny. Hello. Okay. Just give us a brief synopsis of what you want done. If you want to do the walls and trim and show us any problem areas you have. So it looks like we're just dealing with drywall, we can see here. All right, we put the wall wrap on there. It looks like it peeled some tape off there. Or we're going to peel that sticker off there, pull a little bit of paint off the wall. Yes. Okay, so we're going to have to address that. Obviously, we'll skim that out, take care of that before we put any paint on. Now, show me around the baseboards if you could. Give me a close up there of those baseboards. Show me what they look like. See if we're going to need any additional prepping or if they can be sanded and painted. Okay, looks like they're in pretty good shape there. Okay, now just back out to a, you could just back out to a corner, just stand in a corner there and give us a good panoramic view of the whole room. Just pan around. We can Now we can see if we're dealing with anything on the wall, stuff like that, we're gonna have to take off. Uh, any major holes, if we have any cracks in the wall, those are things you wanna ask your customers to point out any cracks in the drywall, any peeling tape, things like that. Uh, you can also ask if they want to do multiple colors or just one accent walls as we have down there. Obviously, we're not going to do the wall with the wrap on it. How big is that room there? 20 by 15 by 9. Okay, so we got 20 foot long, which looks like that's our long ways, and that's our 15 feet wide right there. So that's good to know because we're not going to do that wrap wall. You can take that off. Um, also, we're not doing the ceiling. You can see drop ceilings and things like that in there. So we're not going to be doing any ceiling. So we're going to do the walls and trim, Jane? Yes, sir. 
Now we're going to walk you through how we do our Google Duo exterior estimates. I'm going to have Jenny walk outside. We've already looked at this facade on Google Earth, so we have a basic idea of what we're looking at, but we're going to go through any other questions or issues that we may see that didn't show up on Google Earth. So now I'm going to call, give Jenny a call again. She's going to walk outside. She'll take a peek around for us. Hey, take us outside now and show us what you want done. Alrighty. And if you could just back out as far as you can, try and get me the whole building in on one shot. If you got to just look in one direction and pan down towards the other corner, that'll work. Okay, now we can see our different surfaces that we're dealing with, the type of prep that's going to be needed. If you have any problems where it does start to glitch, don't worry about that. If you have to call your customer back, it does happen. It's technology, and sometimes it doesn't work, so don't worry about that. If you have problems with them hearing you, or for instance, you can't hear them, like Jenny's right outside on the road, so she, sometimes there's a lot of traffic going by. You can have her just mute her phone so we don't hear what's going on in the background. I can point her through and have her look at the areas that I want to address. Okay, Jenny, walk around some of the problem areas, point out anything that will take extra prep other than just simply paint. Okay, a little bit of a choppy connection there, that's all right. Give it a second, it will come back. And like I said, if you've got to call them back, that's not a problem, don't worry about that. Looks like we have some rust and peeling paint on the garage door frame, lintels, and run into a slight connection issue. That's all right. Okay. All right, I see the garage door frames. If you could, now just step out a little bit and zoom up to the, the metal siding up top there. Show me some of that paint. It looks like it's peeling up there. Am I correct? Can you hear me, Jenny? Okay. Yeah, big semi in the back, I can hear it. Okay, is that peeling up there? Yes. Okay. All right, now walk us through underneath and just point us, show us the brick, show, us, show me if there's any cracks, anything like that on the brick that's gonna to need to be addressed. I know that siding up there is gonna need washed. Now, any questions that you have for her that you see as you're going across something, don't hesitate to stop them where they're at. If you see something, have them go back to it. You know, have them zoom in, whatever it is you want to look at. She's just going to walk us around here down the front, take a look at the entire surface that we're painting. I'm going to have to remove some shutters there. Got the mailboxes. All right, now just back out one more time and try and give me one good overview of the whole surface, please. And also heights and things like that. If you want to ask your customers heights and things like that, they can help you out with that. Like I said, also, you can just kind of use your own intuition and knowledge um, to go off the doors and heights of things to figure out how high this building is. It's going to get you pretty close. Well, you know when you're painting, a foot or two here and there is not going to make or break the job. So it's just an estimate. Make sure you explain that to your customer. And once you get out on the job, you can address any other issues that you have and go over that with them before you get started. Okay, now just pan down to the end one good time. Give me one good overview of the whole thing. And then I think I will have everything I need. You gotta be patient sometimes. It is technology. It doesn't always cooperate as we want it to. Okay, now Jenny, that kind of was choppy. If you would, just do that one more time for us. We're kind of getting a, a rough connection here. I know, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to hear out here. Uh, you're all right, I understand. Just give us one good brief overview, real quick, and I think I will have everything I need.
Okay. All right. That's good, Jenny. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I will get with you. Thanks. Bye bye. Now that's just a brief, brief layout of kind of how we do things. Now, if you have any other questions, obviously you're going to want to get the customer's email address. However you do your estimates, if you do a paper form or if you do it via email, however you do that, you're going to want to get that information from them. Um, any other questions they have, anything that you have, uh, color choices, uh, type of sheen, stuff like that they're going to use. Just anything that you would ask any typical, typical or normal customer when doing an estimate. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. Okay, one more example. One more thing I want to show you guys on Google Earth. Uh, ways you can help show your guys around job sites just beforehand. Um, hopefully you're walking around beforehand and making these notes, but just in case you want to give you guys a brief example of what they're going to be working around for the day, you can bring Google Earth back up. This is another exterior surface we're working on. So you can see three quarters of this house all the way around. Zoom in, look at any plants, anything like that you're going to need to cover up, what type of ladders you're going to need, what type of surfaces you're going to be dealing with, if you're going to need ladder levels, or what you may need to cover up. All right, that's an example of how we do our virtual estimates here at Turpin's Painting. Hopefully some of those tools and tips will help you guys when you're working the Google Earth and Google Duo. Uh, again, don't forget that virtual quote guide. It's going to help you guys out, save you a lot of time, so you can stay focused on what your customer is talking about when you're dealing with working with Google Duo. You can have a lot of that stuff laid out so you can just make brief notes. Um, we appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully these things were helpful to you guys, and uh, have a good day. Happy painting.